when we deal with a straight punch, we usually treat it like I han mi. Okay? So this I han mi situation is pretty much like if this were a punching hand this way. So again, we have to be careful about bringing your hand to the outside because the person can force to the outside. The same with the punch. If I block his hand coming in this way, his other side is free and he can still control me and strike me this way. So we need to think about controlling the inside line. There's a couple ways we can do this. One is when we bring this hand across underneath, this hand is actually the atemi. Here. So this is the atemi. You can think of it as this uh, nukite, or uh, spear strike underneath the arm this way. That strike right there. This is how we move to the back. If I want to use the other hand, I can move in this way. Then drop this hand cutting down and move under. You can see if I just slip it to the side, what's happening with this other side of his body? It's free. Now I control him. Can he strike with the other hand? No, he can't strike. Yeah. At this point, that point right there. Punch in, move into the side. So this is how we're going to get into Idiminage. Also, when he's punching in this side, after we do this strike here, and we drop down underneath, we keep this hand a little bit angled. That way the elbow is able to strike in as well. If I bring my hand vertically right here, his hand can actually drop, and the other side of his body is free again to strike across. So when I come in underneath, I angle my hand a little bit this way. That way if he drops his elbow, he's actually moving away. That's controlling him right here. See how I can't drop his elbow right here? I can control him on that little shelf right there. This way here, you drop your elbow. Uh, now he's free to strike. Okay. Control. So that's how we can enter for an Idi Minari. Let's look at this side again. Passing from this side into the front, I'm striking this way. Striking this way. There's the end. This feels very different to him than if I go this way. You feel the difference? Oh, yeah. That way? That way. Feel this? Feel that? Yes. <laughs> that. That's, that's the atemi. See how there's no atemi out here? There's no, there's no atemi on this side right here. The atemi actually happens in that place right there. Then you just check it a little bit with this hand. Just lead it out like this way. And then looking at the other entry as well, this side. Drop the hand down. That movement. Make sure a little shelf that way. So you keep his arm up like this way. There's still the elbow strike. There. So if we want to enter to the front and do our uh, Iriminage, we can do this uh, front entry moving here. Just like the Koregaishi. Here, 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 and here. So again, it's just a series of four strikes. One, two, three, four. We can enter in with this hand, or I can enter in this hand. When we come to the back side, it's important to scoop this hand and bring it up like this way. If you spring this hand down, his hand's still free to strike across. So make sure that as you scoop this hand through, you're bringing it up this way. And then wash the front of his face. Make sure that you're moving to the front of him this way. This way. Okay? So even if the hand isn't there, this is moving through. Inside of all the Iri Minage, right before you throw it, there's also an uppercut movement in there. So you have Atemi, 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 and here. There's an uppercut strike here before the throw. So all of these Atemi actually dissolve away the actual application of Aikido. So if we're doing this technique and just showing Aikido technique, it might look like this. You won't see any of those atemi. Okay. 
And yet, here they are.